What's up, YouTube? Quick disclaimer, the Live Lobster video was way too long. I shot about two hours worth of footage, so I have to break it up into two videos. I'm gonna break it up into a vlog and I'm gonna break it up into a how-to video. I'm gonna drop both of them together. It was just way too much footage to try to put it on one video. So to see the lobster live, you have to watch the vlog. To see me actually cook the lobster, you have to watch the how-to video. Got it. I had to. I just, I had to. I know. But let's get to the videos. I thank y'all. Now let's watch them. Go watch both of them. Ha! Okay. So today we're making steak bites, broccoli, potatoes, uh, and this fella in here. Got me some great potatoes going. Oh, broccoli, of course. I gotta make me a sauce. I'm gonna make me a special sauce. Uh, these are green onions. I have lemon pepper, salt, pepper, and this is a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. I also have thyme leaves. I like thyme. I use thyme. Minced garlic. Butter. Lemon. I don't know if I already said lemon. And I use a little bit of this. I know it's a crab boil and this is a lobster, but I like using it and it's just what I use. I got him. Now we're gonna transfer him to the water. Oh, okay. Now, we're gonna lose the top. Okay. Let's get into this butter sauce. What you gonna need? First of all, it's called butter sauce. So what you gonna need? Butter. Uh, I'm gonna add some lemon to it too. I'm also gonna add, up oh, my shot glass fell. Also gonna add some green onions. I'm about to set the camera up so y'all can watch me actually cut up stuff. Okay, while Leonard's cooking, let's get to the butter sauce. The first thing I'm gonna do Always wash your hands too. I wash my hands. Make sure you wash your hands before you cook because if you don't, you're nasty. Got green onions. Um, grab me a knife. A good knife. Okay, if you ever was wondering what this is for, if you got it, it's to sharpen your knife. I think it's for, it's, I, I think that's what it's for. <coughs> don't take it from me. I think that's what that's for. That's what I've been doing with it. I think that's for you sharpening your knife. I'm not sure. There's some things you just don't know, and this is one of them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, cut up some green onions. Just cut up a bit of green onions. Leonard will be ready to take out the pot in a few. This is cool. Right now I'm showing y'all my little sauce that I make for it. But I'm cutting away from my fingers now. I was cutting towards, always cut away from your fingers. Got me enough onions right there. You just want to make sure they in pieces good. Cut them up and good. Do a little slices. Oh, lemon in my way. You just want to make sure you cut them up real nice and good. I used this one, um, I think a stock of this was like 89 cent. I just used one stock of it. I don't really need the second one as I'm saying now. And butter. 
I'm using stick butter just because it was more convenient to grab, I guess. This is my butter sauce. Leonard is almost ready to come out. Oh, I done landed in my onions. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so my pot. All I'm gonna do is melt some butter. I'm gonna add one butter stick. Two butter stick. And I'm going to add, if I can get it, three butter stick. Remember, always wash the hands. I'm going to reiterate that because a lot of people don't wash their goddamn hands. I'm going to add some of the green onions to it. I'm going to save a little bit of the green onions for my, my steak bite. Also got to turn on the oven. Turn the oven on the 350. Is add a couple tablespoons of minced garlic. Get a little bit of that juice in there. That's about two full scoop, three full scoop. I like garlic, so I go a little bit overboard with the garlic. If you don't like garlic, that's acceptable. Then what I'm gonna do is roll the lemon. Always make sure your knife is out the way. Don't cut yourself, man. I'm gonna roll the lemon. Okay, I'm gonna cut the lemon and the two halves. Now can you see, I'm gonna skate the lemon towards my hand so I can catch the seeds. I'm gonna squeeze the lemon in there. That's one half of the lemon. Squeeze real good too. Make sure you get all the juice out. Make sure you catch all the seeds. Look all the seeds I'm catching. Dispose of the seeds. Squeeze that lemon. I like lemon and seafood. I do. I'm not going to lie. Squeeze that lemon. Boom. Squeeze the second lemon. Got a little onions on it. It's cool. If you squeeze it in your hand like this, you'll catch the seeds. Make sure you squeeze it nice and good. Leonard almost ready to come out. I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do with him next. Okay, two lemons. See if y'all can see what that looks like. Ah, let me wash my hands real quick. Oh, also, I forgot to add the vinegar. You want to add two tablespoons of vinegar to the water with Leonard, just because it makes them easier to come off. Okay, let's put this on some fire. Okay, I figure while I'm waiting, just a couple more minutes on Leonard. I cut up the, uh, I cut up the, <laughs> I cut up the potatoes. So what I'm gonna do is cut down the middle. One, yep, 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 yep. And once again, cut away from your hands. I'm just. I'm comfortable a little bit more doing it, but that don't mean you are. Always be careful, do not cut yourself because that would suck. It would suck. Nothing being cut. Nothing being cut. If you ain't never been cut, if you've been cut before, you understand what I mean. That shit suck. But if you ain't never been cut before, trust me, you don't want to be. Okay. So, let me move this up. Cut another one. What I do, oh, I hate the microphone. What I do is cut straight down. Nah, I can't do it. Boom, then I cut straight across. Well, really, I'm supposed to be cutting from my hand. I never cut towards the hand, man. I'm doing it because I'm a little bit of rest and I gotta get rid of that water. And I decided to cut these potatoes up a little bit sooner than I should just to get them out the way. That's cool. I'm just cutting into like big ass little trailers, I guess. That's what you want to call it. Technique is not the best, but this is the way I do it. And then, usually, I want to cut from your hand for it, but I don't want to cut from my hand. Because I'm not going to trap it out. Just don't cut yourself. Especially don't cut yourself on YouTube because uh, that would just suck in front of everybody. Can you put the video up? Now all my potatoes out the way. I'm gonna grab a bowl, put all my potatoes in. Okay. I'm just gonna put them all in there. 
Hey, boom, cut up potatoes. I'm gonna saute them. Now, let's get Leonard out the pot. Okay, we can turn Leonard off. Leonard is about done. Look at that. There you go. Remember him? Remember him? That's Big Lin Lin. Go ahead, let me see if you can smell him. See, he was tough a while ago. Remember at the beginning of the video, he was real tough. Now he good. Okay, let's set Leonard down. All right, set Leonard down. We gonna let Leonard chill off cause he seem hot as hell right now. We gonna let him chill. There you go. I want him to be full like that. Okay. He cooked though. Leonard is, Leonard done. He out of there. Let me show you. See him? He out of there. See you. He in lobster heaven. Y'all remember my butter sauce. What I'm gonna do is add a little pepper. Just a little, probably two pinches of pepper. Okay. I'm also gonna add probably two pinches of lemon pepper. You gotta try lemon pepper. I know I squeeze lemons in there, but it's a different thing. And then, hold on. So, we also gonna take some of um, this Obey seasoning and also add it to the butter sauce. I'm gonna add like probably two or three pinches. Okay, let me show y'all that now. That's the butter sauce. We got the green onions in there. We got the minced garlic. We got the lemon. We got, um, did I say butter? I think I said butter. We got the Obey seasoning. We got some pepper and we got some lemon pepper. Once I get him in the oven, I'm gonna start this. Now this is where viewer discretion might be advised. I didn't want to show it like this, but I'm gonna show it like this. Now what I'm gonna do, is what I wanna do is cut Leonard from the top back. So I wanna split Leonard in half. And when I split him in half, I'm gonna explain it to you. In here, he got his intestines. I gotta wash out his intestines, because what I'm gonna do is put Leonard in the oven in two halves. So I'm about to cut him straight down the middle. And then I gotta clean his inside off. So you gotta bear with me. And I'm gonna move him over a little bit. Make sure you guys can see it. Got a good view. Here we go. I'm not gonna take your rubber bands off because I just don't trust him. And here we go. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, this is so cruel, but I've seen somebody do it before. But what I'm gonna do is cut him in half. Oh man. Oh man. I'm just not a cruel person. Okay. What you wanna do is cut Larry in two halves. Don't worry, he's gone. That didn't hurt him at all. Two halves. He was like that. Now he like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab the bag he came in. And what I wanna do is try to empty out his insides as much as possible. See his insides right here? All the people gonna empty out. Cause you don't need that. We're gonna rinse that out. It's still meeting these legs. Let me show you. So I'm gonna rinse him out. I'm gonna rinse all of this out. But first you wanna try to clean him out. All the dust and the testing. Some people cut him live and half first because sometimes you can get all that. Me, I just don't. I just, I'm just not that cool. So what I'm gonna do is scoop all that out. Get all that out. And see. That's what you left with. All meat. I'm gonna rinse this out too. So don't worry. And the other half I'm gonna show you. See? Now I'm gonna rinse this out. 
Yeah. You just take a spoon. Hold on, let me make sure y'all see. You just take a spoon. See all this? You want to scoop all that up. You don't want to. That's all the intestines and brain and all that other stuff you just not trying to encounter. You can take the spoon, I don't know if you can see it or not. You can take the spoon and clear it up. Clear out all that other excess, whatever. Okay, so now I'm gonna rinse them out. Rinse them out, you gotta know. It's meat all in that tail, it's meat all along here, it's meat in them claws, it's meat in these little legs. Whenever you try to grab me with the little legs, now I'm about to grab his little legs. Yeah, I don't know. See, just rinse them out. Make sure you get all that stuff about it there, all that brain and intestines and stuff. Just make sure you rinse it out good. That's about it. That's one half. Second half. You wanna make me rinse it out good? Ah, oh, snap. And the third part. That's cool. I just, I just probably put it back, back together. Or something like that. Stop it. Okay. One half. Second half. Oh, let me make sure y'all can see. Part of that lobster tail, all that meat in there. I don't know which, I don't know how this, how, how this went on him. I think it went like that. Might have went like that. Try to keep him together the way he looked. That way y'all can remember him the way he was. Okay, and with that be said, all I'm gonna do now, is squeeze a little bit of lemon over. Just a little bit. Before I'm about to put them in the oven. I'm just squeeze a little bit of lemon over them. As a lemon, I'm gonna hit them with a just a tad pinch of lemon pepper. Not a lot. Cause you remember I still got that lemon sauce I'm gonna put on them. And I'm gonna add some thyme leaf to them. I should have took the thyme leaf out the thyme leaf shaker. It wouldn't have took this long. I'm just putting some thyme leaf on him. Boom. He ready to go in the oven. Um, I would have put him in aluminum foil, but I just didn't see the need because I'm only cooking one. It could be quick. Okay. Got my oven set to 350. He ready to go in the oven. Okay, now while Leonard's in the oven, we're gonna start our butter sauce. Because you go on the base Leonard with the butter sauce. So we're gonna turn it on like, I say a medium low. Like take it to low, but not so low. So turn it up a little bit. If that makes sense, I don't know if that makes sense. You can see it already starting to melt. The butter, the lemon, the minced garlic, the onions. You can see it already starting to melt. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of extra little help. That's gonna be some good butter sauce. Gonna let that cook, let that simmer a little bit. We got lemon, the onions, the minced garlic, the seasoning, and obey. All that's in there. We're gonna bring that to a boil. Let's we'll start on our steak. I'm making steak bites. What I do, I rinse my steak off. I like to rinse my meat off. Everybody don't. I can understand, but I rinse my meat off. I always rinse my meat off just because I just don't know. I always rinse my meat off. So if you don't, you don't, I do. I just like washing my meat. It's cool if you don't. I mean, that just teaches all. I just don't trust it. So I rinse my meat off. Seems like a meat tenderizer. Two halves. Like I said, I'm making steak bites, so it's a pretty decent piece of steak. I'm on some pretty thick cuts for a steak bite. Yeah, I want some pretty, some pretty thick cuts. I don't want no little steak bites to defeat the purpose. I want some good thick pieces. Yeah, like some good thick pieces of steak. That's cool with me. I see my butter sauce is starting to simmer. Let's 
So I'm gonna get started on this. Oh yeah, that's it. Make sure you keep me some good steak cuts. I don't want a little steak, but I want some good steak cuts. You know what the wrong with that lobster? Remember, we got the lobster in the oven, we got the butter sauce. Kick it up now. And boom. Some thick cuts and steak bites. What I'm gonna do is go over here and whisk the butter sauce. Butter sauce going good. I'm give it a little. Ready to turn it off now. Give it a little whisk. We got a couple pinches of salt. Not a lot. It's just thick, that's why it looks like I'm putting a lot of salt, but it's not. It actually got wet, so it's kind of chunky. Couple pinches of pepper. I'm a pepper guy, I like pepper. Couple pinches of pepper. Double base season. We're gonna hit it with the lemon pepper also. I like lemon pepper. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. Remember, always wash your hands when you're dealing with raw poultry. Once you mix it up, what I'm gonna do just because. This is because I'm a little bit more cautious. I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper once I mix it up. Just because I like to be seasoning. You can't do a lot of seasoning when it's done cooking. So do it before a pinch of salt, just a pinch of salt, because I'm not a big salt fan. Some more lemon pepper. And what we're gonna do is, remember the onions we kept off to the side? We're gonna hit them with them onions. This was the onions we kept off to the side from that butter. I'm also gonna hit it with a little bit of thyme leaf. I told you I like thyme. Like I said, it's gonna take a minute for me to shake all that thyme out. Okay. Get that a quick little mix. Make sure all that onion's in there. You want that onion to be in there good, nice and good. So I'm gonna use olive oil. Then my pot get hot. Now I'm gonna take our butter sauce. And I'm gonna make sure, Leonard, you wanna cover them. You wanna make sure you cover them in the sauce. Cause by now you dehydrated. Put them together. You want to make sure you cover them in the sauce. I'm just gonna make sure I get it everywhere. It's claws, you want to make sure. I don't want to get them too. I just want to make sure he nice and submerged. Remember, he's dry. He's been in the oven. He's been in hot water. Now I just want to add a little bit more moisture to him and his claws. I want to add some flavor to him. So don't be stingy with it, add some flavor to them. Hold on, let me show you what it looks like. Can y'all see him? Is that a good view of him? Now it's time to add our steak bites. You can see it's already starting to brown. Make sure you got a good little fire going. Now, I'm gonna show you what you do. 
Remember I added olive oil at the beginning. I'm gonna take our butter sauce, just a little bit of it. Our butter sauce and green onions. I'm gonna add it. Just a little bit to the steak. There you go, that should be enough. Now you're good, the medium, the heat on medium low. You don't want to fry it. You kind of want it to base and marinate in the butter and the garlic. Just a little bit. I'm going to fry it a little bit harder towards the end. Excuse me. I can just break it up into pieces like that and I'm satisfied with that. I like big pieces of broccoli. Plus I don't want to be here all day. Cutting up broccoli. So you just take the stock and break it in. You really can keep breaking them like this one piece. You can probably break it into like six different pieces. I'm going to keep it all together because like I said I want thick pieces of broccoli. I want the little pieces. You always gotta have a vegetable. I'm from a family where you always have a vegetable with your dinner. Where's the trip? You just break them down. I'm gonna keep them big, like I said, big thick pieces, pause. Okay, it's time to check on our steak. Look. Don't know if you can smell that, but I can. And like I said, I wanted to just marinate. Our steak base, I wanted to marinate. I'm gonna fry it a little bit hard. I wanna get it crispy, but right now I just want it to soak up all the juices in the pot. That's why I turned it low and made sure that butter sauce got in there good. We're gonna go ahead and add our potatoes. Like I said, I kinda wanna saute them. There's a little saute. And boom, there you go. Take my butter sauce, hit them a little bit more. You take a little, oh, I didn't mean to take that much up. Take a little bite. Man, that's perfect. Broccoli, water, water, broccoli. Try not to splash it everywhere. And remember, we got that butter in there. We season the water a little bit. Let that broccoli soak that up. Now remember I said I was gonna fry the steak hard. A little bit hard. I want to brown it and get that nice crunchy outside. We got our potatoes cooking. Add a little bit of lemon to them. Okay. See if y'all can see that. Now we all done. Okay. See if y'all can see that. Now we all done. I actually put the steak bikes inside of the lobster body. And there you have it. How to cook and prepare live lobster with steak bites, potatoes, and broccoli. Now if that's not a meal for champions, I don't know what it is. Boom. Add some cheese to the broccoli. And we're good. Okay. You see me fight with a lobster. You see me drink. You see me sweat. You see me finish. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment your thoughts. Make sure you follow me on all my social media. <sighs> it's time to eat, then go to sleep. I'm about to smoke first. See y'all next time.
Thank y'all for tuning in. I'll be back soon. Did you my trap fall? Hit her from the back, I'm breaking her backbone. You buy some work for me, I'm putting tax on. Shoot it in the clip, I'm feeling like tax on. Did you my trap fall? All of my sights on it and they loaded. I hit the big coin and just loaded. Pop me some perks, I'm getting loaded. Did you my trap fall? The fans come, then I'm throwing it out. I got a being that's holding me 